Welcome to the Imola 2024 Grand Prix predictions. I'm Sagan and I'm joined in once again by the amazing Captain AJX. Hello, hello, hello. Nice to be here. Nice to be here. Very exciting about the Grand Prix. Uh, it was a good race last time, so I'm excited that hopefully this will be a good race, but we never know. Yep, hopefully it will. As the, la the race last time we had was a pretty good one, in my opinion. <laughs> mm, yes, definitely. So hopefully the, uh, the tendency of it going up and the excitement can go, uh, can well, keep being there. Um, yeah, my <laughs> okay, my brain is malfunctioning. Sorry. Okay. Um, hopefully it's gonna be a good Grand Prix. Uh, we hope to see some good competition. Obviously, a lot of teams bringing upgrades. Uh, the most important ones are obviously Ferrari. Uh. Also, there's Mercedes, Aston, I think uh, Haas are bringing upgrades again. Obviously, Red Bull bringing their upgrades that's supposed to make the car not look like the one they started with. I have no idea what that means, but hopefully they're not going to just be half a second clear of the field. <laughs> the gold yes, line. certainly so. Uh, I'm hopefully in the Ferrari upgrades, but I just don't know what the Red Bull will bring, so... Yeah, um, obviously McLaren won their last race, where arguably the strongest car, at least on the medium tires, uh, in Miami. So, yeah, I have no idea what to expect for this Grand Prix. So that what makes it even more exciting. Um, yeah. when I go to the predictions. Yes, yeah, let's 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 head on in. Um, yeah. I, I, th I think I started last time, so you can go first. No, of course, of course. Uh, it's a difficult one. Uh, I just never know who's going who's to be first in qualifying. I just have no idea. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah. a, that's a safe bet. <laughs> uh, the, the safest of bets, yes. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, it, it's, it's Max Verstappen. Uh, obviously, he didn't win last race, but otherwise he was on for pretty much the... Uh, well, if, if the safety card hadn't happened, he, he definitely would have. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, obviously, Max got a pole. Always, in every single qualifying session we had this year, uh, excluding the sprint China, but that's not really a qualifying. Uh, so, yeah, Max, Max with the 100% pole rate this season. I don't really know if it's going to end this time. But I'm gonna predict that it does. Hopefully for the excitement. I'm just, mm -hmm. uh, just high on uh high on hopium. Hopefully. I, I I need some some more dose of uh of the excitement that we had in Miami. I'm I just need it. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. Um yeah, I hope so. I, I really do, I really do, but I feel like you're losing three points. <laughs> um next to me. Yeah, I'm 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 ahead by four points right now, so I can. Yeah, afford... you are. You are. You can take the risk. Yeah. Um, I'm going to look at it. I'm next. It's Italy, as much as it isn't uh, the Monza, where I feel like it's more Ferrari and Monza, isn't it? I still think it's Italy. The crowd's going to be behind Ferrari, and I think they're going to have a good weekend. Yeah. So um... yeah, uh, and I just think Luca is is probably better suited. Insights, but then Sites manages to uh, throw in some absolutely amazing performances now and then. Yeah, indeed. Um, okay, you're not gonna win points over me here because I'm putting Leclerc as well. Actually, I had a uh, had my order in mind before the predictions themselves. So yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with Leclerc for P two. No Max in P uh, in the front row. So yeah, I'm, <laughs> that's one hell of a risk, but I'm going with it. Some risky stuff. I've got Norris up next because I don't. I I kind of, I kind of want to just chuck in a few curveballs here and there. So uh, Norris being pretty good, you know. I think the um, McLaren suits the less heat uh, or the um, the European tracks a bit more because it's a bit cooler than it is in the desert tracks. I think we saw that in Miami, and I think uh, they're gonna they're gonna be very good come. Well, I think Austria is going to be their first one where I really think they're going to be on fire. But uh, I think, you know, they're going to do well throughout. 
Yeah, mostly have also Monaco next week, which um, it's always exciting in terms of we don't really know which team is just going to be the strongest because obviously 2021 we had the epic title fight between Lewis and Max and we had Ferraris being the strongest car that was uh, for actually two races uh, back to back, Baku and Monaco back then. So yeah, Monaco can always bring a surprise, but here we are in Imola and I'm predicting Max in P3. Okay. Uh, see, this is this is risky for me, very risky. Yep. Um, oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to go for Sites up next. Again, <laughs> I think he's uh, well suited. I think he's a very good driver. Um, but uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be on fire. He's gonna be on well, it's Italy, so uh, yep. yeah. I think uh, they're going to be good. They're going to be good. Yep. Indeed, I think so as well. So, uh, yeah, sites in P4. Yep. Um, unfortunately, that's one I wanted to pick as well, but uh, I already picked one of your prior picks already, so I'm going to go with Piastri for B4 to spice it up a little. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Piastri is a good shout. Uh, my final pick is going to be Perez. Not great at qualifying. Uh, that's my reason. I was originally going to put him in like P3, uh, but then I changed my mind. And I just think if there's any driver that encapsulates getting P5 in quality, it's uh, Perez. Interesting. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty good pick considering Perez is qualifying a record. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with signs that I wanted to go for P4, but I'll change it to P5. Yep, I, I just cannot have Ferraris out of the top five. <laughs> they're just extremely strong, especially with the upgrades they're bringing in. McLaren, obviously, the well, a very competitive car last time, and it's like Perez is missing out because it's Perez. If the other teams catch up, Perez is just not doing gonna do well in qualifying. That's what I expect. Do you have them? Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. That's our quality results. And uh, one of us is going to be right, one of us is going to be wrong. Uh, probably ends up we're almost all right or wrong. That's <laughs> to be the case, uh, especially last time. And uh, the race results, are we going on to those? <laughs> You're going very bold, I see. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going very bold with uh, the stuff in his legs. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I mean, yeah, he he literally didn't win a race in two weeks. That's a long time. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Um, yeah, Max is a pretty safe pick. And I'm not going to pick Max. I'm going to pick Charles. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pick Charles to win his first race since Austria 2022. And it's going to be in front of his, well, Italian fans mostly. In, in, in the Miller, it's going to be amazing. I think, yeah, uh, it, it would be incredible. But do I see it happening? Potentially. You know what? There is the potential there. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie at all. So I think, I think you've made a good decision there. You've made a good decision. Um, I'm going to go for. Ooh, I'm finding a trick. I think the McLarens are better on race pace. That's all I'm thinking. So I'm going to have. Not home with Pooh on your side. Norris and P2. Uh, and then that goes against the fact that you want the Ferraris to do well. But yeah, <laughs> I'm going to have Norris and P2. I think that, that will be the case. Um, because, yeah, the McLarens look really good on race pace in uh, Thing. And I think. Uh, they're going to do well again. Alright. Uh, I was not going to go with Max below P2, because that would be just stupid, not bold, but stupid. <laughs> and, and yeah, um, yeah, Max... Really good time, but he... Yeah, yeah, indeed. Max is just going to be at least second. We we just, we just know how just how good he is, even though there's competition sometimes. He just always is there and um, yeah the yeah. the consistency is is amazing fair enough fair enough in my p3 i'm gonna go for Leclerc. i'm not gonna put him lower than that uh 
I think he'll do well in this race. I think he's a standout driver. And I think these are currently the three quickest in the field. Yep. Um, <laughs> we're kind of switching just <laughs> we're just switching to drivers in our top three, so let's see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny. We have, we have like the four different combinations of the top three in our predictions, like our qualifying race, like uh, there are like six combinations of uh, three, di three drivers on different spots, right? Like mathematically. So I think we went yeah, in, think so. we went with four of the six. <laughs> That's <was> interesting. <laughs> Pretty incredible. Pretty incredible that we managed to do that. Um, it becomes tricky now, right? Yeah. I'm just not sure. I'm going to put, tentatively put Perez in P4, um, just because I think he is quicker in the race. Uh, hopefully he doesn't do a kamikaze move this time <laughs> and almost wipe out the team. But yeah, I think, I think P4 is a good, a good placement for him. Yeah, pretty, pretty fair. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Carlito for P4. And if, yeah, uh, Ferrari won four. Not, the, not quite a double podium, but still a victory. So a good for Ferrari, in my opinion. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, my P5 is going to be Piastri. Not sorry, Sense. I'm just thinking Piastri was also very quick in Miami, and I can expect him to do the same there in this race as well. All right. Um... Pretty, pretty good one. I also go well with Piastri. I just can't see any other driver there, maybe apart from Perez, if he doesn't screw out the weekend. Yeah, Piastri B5, same as you. Okay, cool. Uh, fastest lap or oh, tricky one? Hmm. Fastest lap, tricky one. Fastest lap, tricky one. I'm going to go out there and say that Claire, I'm not going to go for Max. This would be a bit different than normal. <laughs> I think that Claire will get the fastest lap. Okay, I hope, I hope this won't upset you. I, I went for Max. No, I, I, I actually wanted to go with Max today. I just feel like it's going to get the fastest lap but not win the race. It's like the feeling that whenever Max is not in the lead, he still like, tries to be as quick as possible and just randomly gets the fastest lap, maybe some different strategy towards the end with, with quicker tires, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, ooh. He's an impressive team. <laughs> He's an impressive team. Oh, God. It's always a tricky one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you know what, just because they've been slow... I'm going to go ask them. Okay. And Aston are going to be the least impressive team. They are probably should have got the least, um, least impressive team last time. Yeah. I can't remember if they did. Did we end up giving it them? Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to I'm gonna give them the least impressive team this time. I don't think they'll do very well uh, in, in a lot. Yeah, I mean, if, if the uppers won't work and they're just behind Tarasso again, like, that's not just, just not a good look. They were apparently slower than... Well, not slow. They were at, at the pace of Haas and, and Alpine in, in Miami, which is just not very good for a team that was supposed to fight for podiums this year, at least from the first look. They were obviously in the top five teams uh, to begin with, but yeah, Dustin just not looking good. My my pick is Star Rosso. I feel like they're just going to have a just a bad weekend for some reason and just not going to score any points. Those they, are, they are obviously Italian. So. Yeah. So one Italian team winning and the other one having the least impressive team. <laughs> <laughs> true that, true that. I am going for least impressive driver with Stroll. Because it's Stroll. So I don't but, feel like I need to. Yeah, that's true. To but he also needs to have a really bad weekend because I mean, he, he's normally not very impressive in any way. So. Yeah, he yeah. pretty much needs to crash yeah. twice during the weekend or something. Uh, 
Yeah, strong. It's still strong for me. All right. Absolutely. All right. He's just, he's just terrible. I'm not going to I expect him to have a really bad weekend every weekend, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll obviously we'll decide on the, on the winner after a weekend. My least impression forever, I had one in mind, but I kind of forgot which one. Well, it was, yeah, it was Perez. I feel like Perez is going to have all, one of his weekends that were very frequent in 2023. Nowhere in the qualifying, nowhere in the race, just awful. Okay. Okay, that's a, that's a shocking one. Um, oh, no simplicity. I think I'm going to go the opposite of you. And I think I'm going to put Parasso in no simplicity. Oh. I think they'll both get points. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I believe in them in this track. I think they're doing well. And uh, based on last time, I think they'll, they'll do well. So, yeah, I think this is the first time ever we've gone different, like, opposites for those. So that's interesting. Didn't we do that, like, two weekends ago? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'm misremembering. I kind of really chat because of the recording, but uh, yeah, I, I think so. Oh, uh, yeah, you put most impressive team Aston, I put least impressive team Aston. That was China? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Well, there you go. We've I, done I don't, it before. Yeah, I don't think any. We'll do it yeah. many times again, and I'll forget. <laughs> okay. My most impressive team, obviously, I don't think I can go to any other team other than Ferrari. I mean, if they win Imola, they're obviously um, getting a free pass there, like McLaren last weekend, obviously. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, most impressive driver. I'm going to put Sonoda. I know he's got to sort of finish above eighth to be most impressive. Uh, but I think he could get a sneaky, sneaky seventh uh, break into the top uh, top half, maybe sixth or seventh. I think he could be the Mercedes driver, so I'm going to put him there. Interesting. I mean, he got P7 last time, and he's. I don't think he started well. Obviously, he goes a Q3, but uh yeah obviously anything can happen and Sunoda obviously is capable of those results um yeah my most impressive driver i i don't know <laughs> who will i pick hmm. i went to go with charles but i don't know, I, don't know. Uh, I feel like whenever i pick a most impressive driver i actually don't really do as well, obviously, uh, with the exception of last time that I picked Norris, but I know why I'm going to pick Charles. Maybe I, I'll bring him his first win in two years as well. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That is definitely fair. I think uh, Charles is a good shot there. Oh, God, extra bold prediction. I have no idea what to do for this. Actually, um, I actually know what I'm going to pick. And I think the track floods again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I'm going to go with two plus safety cars. Uh, does it include BACs? Uh, no. No? I mean, I would, yeah. I would allow it as well with BACs. That would, that would bring you, like, a okay, bigger okay, chance to... It's just it's SC slash VSC. Yeah, yeah, that's what's going to be. Three plus uh, VSC. There you go. All right. Oh, yeah, you're three plus now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll be on to a little bit. All right. Uh, that means an exciting one. I'm going to go with. Um, I'm going to say it before I type it because obviously it's going to be a bit long. I'm predicting a Ferrari. To go off track with all four wheels during the weekend. Is that bold enough? Yeah, obviously, no, no, I think that's fine. obviously there's the runoffs are gone, so it's basically like all gravel around the track. So I, I just had the vision of signs being in, in the gravel. <laughs> I just wanted to go with the prediction. So Yeah, yeah, go for it. Ferrari off track. I'm gonna uh with this one. All four wheels. 
that's a good wording. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna remember it next week, but in case I don't, uh, <laughs> you you should. <laughs> so yeah, we can uh, we can adjust the points based on it. Well, obviously, if if uh, yeah, um, if they always like get the gravel by like like free wheels, it doesn't count. It has to be the entire car. But that's up to you to remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I guess we can wrap it up. I don't think there's anything else to say unless you want to. No, no, no. That's uh, that's, that's a good way to wrap it up. I hope, I hope it's an exciting race. Yep. Me that's too. That's I hope. I yep. hope we we continue to have exciting races this year yeah. after a very boring start. <laughs> yes, I we. We we are kind of starving off good races, and yeah, we really, really need those <laughs> at the moment. Uh, Miami was a was a good. Uh, yeah, my my vocabulary died. Um, the the part of the meal that you get first before the actual meal. I don't know how it's called actually. <laughs> it, does it does it make sense? Yes, the starter. Oh yeah, the starter. That was a yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, a very simple word that I seem to forget. Yeah, the start off uh, for us, and then we get the main meal. Okay, hopefully soon. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Yes. So it's, the, it's the main way. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyways, um, thanks everyone who's been watching this video. I didn't forget to switch the spreadsheet, so you've seen the entire thing uh, after a long time, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks everyone who's been watching again. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure, to, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment down below what you want to see from us moving forward. And I'll see you next time. See ya. Ajax. Hello. Oh, yes. Sorry. So I, 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 I was just let you end. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. I, okay. See you for both of us. I guess. Bye. <laughs>